Hi you guys, welcome to Cancerian Chronicles. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the energy for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Really, if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, these messages may in fact resonate. And I know some of you guys may be waiting for me to finish up those love readings or relationship readings from um, with uh, Cancer versus the other signs. I do apologize, but I'm gonna say um, again, I say it repeatedly, love is just not my favorite type of reading to do, um, which is why I have um, taken a break and I've pivoted into money, but I will finish them up, you guys. It's just, it's just not my favorite thing. Okay, so let's look at money, my fave, right? We have rebirth and then we have the seer. Um, I just got this deck. It's called the Wealthy Woman Oracle Deck um and by taylor eaton and i'm so super excited um and it's funny with the seer coming out and we're talking about money right so i've seen a couple of her um videos where she was using her cards and i'm like oh i really want to get those cards but they're like uh 70 dollars 80 dollars somewhere around there and you know i was like okay well forget it i'm just gonna go ahead and buy these cards and you know i kept getting a no don't get the cards like not right now not right now and so um i didn't get the cards i was like you know really disappointed and then the second time i watched a video and i'm like i really want to get these cards and i heard again not not right now well this third time I watched her videos and she had like this major announcement where she got like a publishing deal or something like that and so her cards were um, now she can sell her cards <clears throat> because it's you know like manufactured it's more like mass manufactured which means you know like that publishing company has money to put into it that like when you're on your own um because you know i'm going to be using my own deck in just a minute so i totally get how that is but um so you have to charge more to you know just kind of cover the cost when it's just you by yourself that those big publishing companies don't have and so now she has a deal with this publishing company and I was able to get these cards for, I want to say, like with tax and everything, it was $33. And so that is just a prime example, you guys, of like, listen to your intuition. It's not going to steer you in the wrong direction. And so looking at this, the cards that we have here, we have rebirth and we have the seer. And this makes me think about like someone is about to see something with just like a new set of eyes. Like you could have been working on like a business or something with your finances. And I don't know if perhaps like you, um, you know, maybe you kind of um, let things go or <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting the sense of like someone who may have stopped working on a business, like maybe things just like you weren't seeing as much um, momentum maybe as what you were wanting to see. But what I'm getting is that you have been kind of like, whether you know it or not, you've been in some type of learning mode and you're about to figure out how to put things. I'm hearing something about auto drive, right? And at the bottom of this deck here that I'm about to use, it says automate. You're about to learn how to have things a whole lot more automatic which is going to drive more clients to you i'm getting the sense of like for some of you guys if you had things where maybe you were a little bit too hands-on meaning that there were too many steps and it maybe it was a little bit confusing with whatever it is that you were doing with your clients and it might have been like a turnoff and you don't know this or you didn't know this or you didn't see this behind the scenes but you're about to see how some changes that you're about to make to your business or something to do with your finances where things are about to be automatic it's going to really drive up your finances or drive up like the number of clients that you have or something like that so that's really um, something that's pretty awesome okay so I'm hearing something about influencer so if some of you guys are like influencers I'm also getting the sense of like some of you guys may have been like playing around or working with too many platforms or something like that at one time and not to say that it's a bad thing but what I'm getting is that the fact that you were kind of uh, it's something about um 
not running yourself like it's like spreading yourself too thin right so there if there's only one of you and you're not at the point to where you can hire out for certain things then you are kind of spreading yourself very thin with all of these platforms that you were trying to use and so some of you guys I'm getting the sense of like you're looking into um, other platforms that are going to make things a lot more automatic or automate um, what you know like your uploads for your videos or something that you're doing Doing. Some of you guys also might start to or you may want to um, invest in companies that do things like that to where um, they can actually do a lot of this um, social media stuff or something like that for you. So I don't know who that's for, but, you know, kudos to you. OK, so we have, yeah, book clients. And that's something that, you know, th that's what this is about. This is about you're about to see a new way or a a better way, um, a more automatic, automated way to book your clients, which or it's going to allow you like if, if you are big into like you've been focusing a lot on. Um, like your social media platforms or accounts, then I'm also getting like when you automate this or you work with this company or whatever you're doing, it's going to free up some time and some space and some energy so that you can focus on booking your clients. It says here, focus on booking your calendar with enough clients to reach your monthly income goals. And I see like some of you guys, that's what you're about to focus on. Um, all of those things that have to do with like paperwork or all these behind the scenes type things, like that's not going to be your focus or that's what you're starting to see like your focus needs to be on getting more clients booking your clients making things easier for your clients or that experience um, for your clients so we have the card inspire because what you're meant to do is you're meant to be here inspiring people and helping people it says I didn't even read it but it says when you become influential in your field you inspire people to step into their own greatness because you rose to your own first for some of you guys, okay, so what I'm getting for some of you guys, if your business was struggling or you were struggling in your business, part of that has to do with like some of you guys had to put in, I'm hearing something about fancy footwork. Some of you had to put in the work um, and experience the work so that you can then be able to turn around and show your clients or inspire and help other people along their path as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We have broadcast here um, at the bottom. So for you to be able to speak on it, you have to have lived through it. You have to have experienced it. Um, yeah. As it relates to your business. And so at the top, we have allow. And so, you know, like while things are kind of just slow and steady or, you know, whatever, like you are meant to just kind of allow things like just let things flow. Just let it go. Right. Like, don't try to force things to happen everything is going to happen i'm hearing all in due time okay messages for cancer and i know this bed is sh i'm on the bed you guys and i know it's really shaky so i do need to stop being lazy and actually um i actually have a space where i'm supposed to be doing um readings but i've been really lazy so <laughs> funny we have elevate <laughs> so new mindsets new results it says elevate your mindset if you want to get different results if you keep thinking and acting the same way nothing will change in your business and so that's what we have you are definitely about to elevate with these changes um, that you're about to implement in your business or with whatever it is that you do um, like I'm getting the sense of someone who like um, maybe yeah you kind of uh, fell back a little bit and now you're ready to get back into the game. You're really just uh, ready to step up your game. It says step up. So that's beautiful. OK, we're going to pull um, from this is called the Number Tells Oracle deck. So this is one that I created um, and I'll put a link um, if you're interested in purchasing my deck. Um, It'll be to my Etsy shop. You can see all of the reviews, which are um, totally awesome, if I do say so myself. Um, and it's with my other, um, my actual business name that I have. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, wow. Funny. Okay. 
funny because we have the card rebirth when we're talking about your business because I'm really getting that this is about business, not even just about finances, but like a business in general. And here we have we have the number zero. And it says you're beginning a new phase in your life and embarking on your spiritual journey. And I'm getting the sense of like I'm hearing something about your business, like recognizing that your business is its own entity. Right. And you're going to treat it as such. You're going to treat it as its own being with its own personality and wants and needs and desires. And it really wants you to look at it like in a whole different light it's like um yeah you're being called <laughs> to just look at your business um, in a different way and there's something about that like some type of connection that you're meant to have with your business it's a it's a it's a spiritual connection that you're about to have with your business that you guys are about to embark on together if that makes any sense um, but this is this is just like I, I don't know I'm hearing something about you know um, it didn't come out in the cards but before we wrap up I'm hearing something about branding so I don't know if your business is wanting a new look wanting um, an upgrade I'm hearing let me let me upgrade ya. so your business might be wanting a new look a new feel um, to it so and you might already know this or you might have already had this feeling or this inkling um, but you weren't quite sure because maybe you feel like oh well I kind of already did this branding or you know whatever but I'm getting the sense of like you and your business are in agreement that you need there need to be some type of changes that have to do with branding yeah I'm hearing a ringing um, in my right ear I don't know if that's important it just went away so um, after I acknowledged it, so it must have been important. Anything else? Yeah, this was this is this is beautiful. I love um, readings that have to do with business, you guys, um, or money. And um, so, anyways, I'll get back to the love for those of you that are into the love thing, right? Um, because love is a beautiful thing. But um, thank you so much for watching and I love you and have a beautiful day and happy, um, happy rebirthing, happy um, branding and all of that good stuff. And I wish you the best. Bye now.